In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stop your email from showing up in iMessage on your iPhone. This is a common issue many iPhone users face, where their email addresses inadvertently appear in iMessage conversations instead of their phone number. If you find this happening to you and prefer it to show only your phone number, follow along with this simple guide. First, let's begin by finding our way to the right settings. Grab your iPhone and unlock it. Now locate the settings app, that familiar grey icon with gears. Once inside your settings, scroll down a bit and tap on apps. Under apps, you'll find a list of various applications installed on your device. Here, we need to search for and select messages. Tapping on this will take you to a screen specifically for messages settings. On the messages settings screen, look for the option labeled send and receive. It's an important area where you control what appears to others when you send them an iMessage. Tap on send and receive to open this section. Now you'll see a list of addresses and numbers through which you can send and receive iMessages. This often includes your phone number and any email address is associated with your Apple ID. What we want to do is ensure that your email stops appearing in these instances, so go ahead and uncheck your email from this list. You can do this by simply tapping on the email address, which will uncheck it, leaving it deselected. Once you've done that, it's time to make sure your phone number is set up correctly for starting new conversations. Scroll down to the area that says start new conversations from. Here, ensure that only your phone number is selected. This setting determines which contact information appears to the recipient when you start an iMessage chat. For our final step, look for the section right above that states you can receive iMessages to and reply from. Just like before, you'll want to go in and uncheck any email addresses listed there. We want to leave only your phone number checked. This setup will ensure that when someone replies to an iMessage from you, it doesn't inadvertently include your email address. And there you have it. With these simple adjustments, your iMessages should now use only your phone number instead of your email address, providing a little more privacy and clarity for your contacts. If at any stage you wish to revert these changes, simply follow these steps again and check the email addresses back. I hope this helped you resolve the issue with your iMessages. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.